on Friday evening, uh, sheriff's deputies, uh, along with volunteers from Mothers Against Drunk Driving, uh, conducted a security, a, a sobriety checkpoint, not a security checkpoint, a sobriety checkpoint on U.S. Highway 6 between 84th Street and 98th Street. The checkpoint ran from 7 p.m. until midnight. The, uh, the, the checkpoint was shut down due to inclement weather, but uh, the uh, 11 deputies involved in the checkpoint contacted 176 vehicles, uh, made two criminal arrests, issued seven citations, and 29 warning and defect cards. Uh, the official citations included one driving while intoxicated, one driving during suspension, and five other uh, traffic violations. Two people were arrested for outstanding traffic violations. I'm sorry, for outstanding warrants. That selective enforcement uh, effort was continued on Saturday and Sunday uh, between 8 p.m. and 2 p.m. Uh, both of those nights uh, with selective enforcement uh, being conducted at various locations throughout Lancaster County. An additional 72 vehicles were contacted, uh, 18 official citations, uh, which included another driving while intoxicated, uh, driving during suspension, speeding, two possession of open containers uh, of alcohol, and uh, two careless drivings, and uh, two minors were arrested for being in possession of alcohol. Uh, the overtime for this effort was paid for by a, a mini grant through the Nebraska Office of Highway Safety. In spite of those traffic enforcement efforts, um, it was a, a one of the deadliest weekends we've had in a long time in Lancaster County. Um, shortly after midnight, zero uh, zero twenty five hours on uh, Friday night, Saturday morning, uh, we were detailed to a crash on Highway thirty three at Southwest one hundred fourteenth Street. Uh, the initial reports was that this was a hit and run accident involving a motorcycle. Uh, the investigation indicated a black uh, 2005 Chevrolet Trailblazer uh, was eastbound on Highway 33, struck a 1996 Harley Davidson motorcycle, uh, which was westbound on Highway 33. The driver of that motorcycle, 54 year old James Oldfield of Beatrice, was killed in that crash. The Trailblazer continued on after the collision. Um, that vehicle was tracked uh, about two miles uh, from the scene of the crash, and the driver, Nicole L. Husenfeld, that's H-E-U-S-I-N-K-V-E-L-T, uh, age 24, was uh, contacted and subsequently arrested for driving while intoxicated, felony motor vehicle homicide, and leaving the scene of an injury accident. That crash is still under investigation um, as we speak. Uh, and then on uh, Sunday morning at about 8.30, uh, deputies were detailed to the area of Northwest 70th and West McKelvey Road, which is about two miles east of Malcolm, uh, on a vehicle that was smoldering in the ditch and had been burned. Uh, there was also uh, a report of a person uh, near person's body located near that crash. Uh, upon arrival, deputies located a 1998 Dodge pickup uh, that appeared to have left the roadway, uh, went out of control, uh, flipped, and went airborne, striking a field drive embankment. Uh, the driver and sole occupant, 22-year-old Dominic Watts was pronounced dead at the scene of that crash. Uh, the accident investigation uh, has revealed that uh, it appears seatbelts were not in use. Uh, we believe the crash happened at about zero, 0200 hours and uh, that alcohol may have been a factor in this crash. We're still awaiting uh, blood tests on that.